How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR DIY project. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a glass pendant out of nothing but some glass that I got at Hobby Lobby and a little tiny marble. It's a half marble. And to make this magic work, we have something right here called a microwave kiln. Now this has a ring of a certain type of dust. I can't think of the name. I think it's like a silica carb or something. And this is going to heat up to about 1,600 degrees inside of the microwave. You can use, probably recommended would be a 1,000 watt one, but you can also use, uh, I think somebody said uh, like an eight to 900 watt as well. This one over here, I believe is a thousand something watt. So it should be good for what we're going to be doing today. The other things you're going to need is a small kit. Here is a glass cutter. We have a thing of nippers. And then these are what break the glass with pressure. So let's move these to the side real quick. So this is a plain piece of black glass. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it. So this is what the glass looks like. Just a standard piece. has a little bit of uh, texture to it. As you can see. And then this is the marble that we're going to be using. It has a pretty little streak right there inside. And part of it see-through. So basically what we need to do is we need to shape this piece of glass into uh, kind of a smaller shape. So this is a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is actually cut it down the center. Or actually a little bit off. There we go. And then I'll probably just break this one like this. Pretty easy. And then the other thing that we're going to do is clean up the edges a little bit to kind of refine it for when it melts. So what happens is this pools upward. And basically what happens is if the edges are already kind of rounded out, it makes it easier and creates a better shape. So I usually take about this much of it in my little nippers right here. And then I just go ahead and kind of chop them off. Also, if you notice, my microphone's a little different today. I'm using the in-phone microphone because I'm out in my garage. So let's go ahead and continue nipping these off. I still feel like this is a little bit too long, but the cool thing about these nippers is you can actually take off large pieces as well. Now let's just go ahead and uh, continue rounding this off. You can do it in smaller sections too. There we go. Getting to a circle shape. And you know, working with glass is dangerous, so I make sure you use all of the proper safety equipment. But it's actually really easy to work with as well. So here we go. We have a more of a semblance of a circle now. And if we just grab the little tiny thing right here, we place it down in the center. And then this is going to go inside the microwave kiln. But before we do that, let me pull out of my drawer real quick. We're going to need some kiln paper. And this is just a ceramic type paper that won't catch on fire in the microwave. So we just remove this. Lay that down right there. And then I'm just going to wipe my glass off real quick to make sure that it's not all smudged up. It's better to have your glass clean before you put it inside of there. So we're just going to set down that piece. And then we're going to grab the marble and then place that down as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut and show you guys me putting it in the microwave. And then at the end we're going to see what kind of really awesome thing came out of here. So stay tuned. Alright, let's make sure that your marble is on there. Be careful and uh, make sure that you, once you put the lid on, you just tilt it open just a little bit and pick it up so you make sure that it didn't slide around. So let's go ahead and pick this up and set it in the microwave. One thing is you cannot use this microwave if you've already used it for glass because it does give off fumes and it would uh, not be good for your food. So just make sure you have an extra microwave that you're good with, you know, kind of making it only for glass. And we're going to take the top of this. We're just going to set it on top 
Make sure it's center, that's still center. And we're going to close the microwave up. And then we're going to put a timer on for about 10 minutes. Or we'll check it halfway through. And I will see you then. Alright, so it's been about 12 minutes. And it's just starting to turn molten. It actually might already be done. But as you can see in there, it is 100% glowing. I'm kind of looking at the edges a little bit. You don't want to have it off too much because the glass can crack. But I'm going to let it go for the last two minutes just because I want to make sure those edges are uh, rounded off. All right, and now it's been about 40 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and take the top of the microwave kiln off. Move that to the side. And then let's just go ahead and touch it real quick. Yeah, it's still pretty hot, so I definitely wouldn't, you know, let a cold breeze hit it or anything. Honestly, it should stay in here longer. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like up close. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Pardon the dog in the background. Yeah, it melted in there pretty good. It actually uh, kind of even seems like it expanded quite a bit inside of the black. It has some underlying rough edges that can be sanded out because its shape is a little tiny bit off in my opinion, but it's actually not too bad. You could even file it to where you can make it more of like a square shape if you wanted to, but it'd be really easy to just wet some sandpaper and file this off into a perfect circle. But yeah, what do you guys think? This is really easy to just grab a bale and put it on there, and you can turn this into a necklace. You could embed it into a like a wooden jewelry box or, you know, something like that too. Or it could just be a really good rubbing stone. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see if we can get a little bit more of a zoom in on here. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends, comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video.